Hey Stumpboxers, welcome to this month's tutorial. We are going to be doing lemon batteries today. Woo. I'm Kina and this is Caroline. Hello. We're gonna go through the boxes, we're gonna unpack them to start and then we're gonna teach you how to run this experiment and troubleshoot it at home. This box is powered by Greenworks, so a big shout out to them, thank you so much and let's get started, shall we? Yeah. All right. So we're gonna open the box and we're gonna show you what's inside. Just make sure that you have all the necessary components. First things first, our awesome protocol, front and back. Make sure you read it over once before you start the experiment. Every good scientist always does. We have a super fun accessory for you guys this month. It's a fruit clock. Basically, all you do is you plug it into any kind of fruit and it's a clock that works. Yeah, it's super it, cool. It is, it's an alarm clock. You could put it by your bed and now you have an excuse to keep food on your nightstand. <laughs> And like we mentioned before, this box is powered by Greenworks. So we have some awesome promotional products for you. Our compostable cleaning wipes, which happen to smell like lemons because they're made with lemons. They're made with lemons. So Greenworks has done a fantastic job to harness the natural potential of lemons, which we are going to be doing in today's experiment as well. Other fun accessories include super cute Stumbox stickers. Adorable. Super cute robot lady. Oh yeah, love her. I like her a lot. Put these on your binders, <laughs> give them to your friends, put them on your cat, whatever you wanna do. We also have <laughs> pins. Caroline and I already have our pins on. Oh yeah. <laughs> so we have our collectible Stumbox pins this month. We have lemons. Um, what else? Now we get down to the nitty gritty of what you actually really, really need for this experiment. All right, safety gear. We have our usual safety gear. We have nitrile gloves and we have goggles. And then finally, the components that we're actually gonna use for the experiment today. Um, we'll go through these real quick. We have galvanized nails. This means they're covered in zinc. So they're fine, they're safe, they're not that sharp, um, but still don't poke anybody with them, please. We have copper wire. These are little bendies, so try not to disform them, disfigure them. You just don't want to do that. <laughs> um, we have LED bulbs that come in a variety of colors, mainly red, green, blue, and white. And we have alligator clips. There are 10 of these. You're only going to need about eight or six. We'll figure it out during the experiment. <laughs> all right, and that's all you need for this experiment today. Oh wait, just kidding. Where are your lemons? They're right here. This Yay. is all about the natural potential of lemons. So you're gonna need four of these, four each. So yeah. twice as many as she has, all that I have. All right, so now we've got our safety gear on, we can start. We're gonna take our four lemons. One, two, three, four and we're gonna give them a nice lemon massage. So we're gonna roll them out. We're breaking up all the little juice packets on the inside to release more of our electrolyte, AKA citric acid. All right, so we're good. Got it. All right, next part. Now we're gonna take our four zinc covered nails, otherwise known as galvanized nails, and we are going to stick one at each side of every lemon we have. Ready, go. <laughs> stick. You're quick. Stick. <laughs> it's just the words, they help. <laughs> Got it? Nailed, Nailed it! it. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna copper them. Ready? So you're gonna insert this at the opposite end and you wanna put it in for about, a, about an inch and a half. All right. Another one. They look like little aliens. Four. Copper it! <laughs> All right, so now everything has the copper, it has the zinc. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put these in a semi-circle to make it easier for the circuit to be set up. Got All it. right. Cool. So I'm setting mine up so that I can see that there's opposites close to each other, within reach. Yep. All right. And we're only gonna need a few of these wires, so you can put them off to the side. They can be difficult to work with the plastic on them, so feel free to wiggle it down and remove it. And then you have a naked alligator coming up. <laughs> All right, so, let's start with green. Always make sure you are clamping zinc to copper on a different lemon. You never wanna clamp the same two on the same lemon. Zinc to copper. 
zinc to copper. And for the last two, there's an open nail and an open copper wire. We're gonna take two of these wires and we're gonna make an open end. So we're gonna clamp one zinc, but we're not gonna clamp the other end yet. And we're gonna clamp one copper, but not the other end. So, what we've done is we've taken cathode, think of positively charged, copper is positively charged, so think of the T as a plus to remember in the word cathode, to our anode, this is the copper, mm -hmm. the lemon acts as an electrolyte, so it's actually the citric acid inside of the lemon which is allowing the zinc to be oxidized and the electrons to follow up through the zinc and going towards the electronegative copper, which wants the electrons more than the zinc does, because the zinc has an abundance of electrons and the copper wants them more. Yeah. So, basically, copper wants the electrons so badly, it's going to go from here, through the lemon, through this copper, through this wire, through this lemon, you get the picture. So basically, we have a big string of electrons flowing through these wires. Yeah. And for the last piece, we're going to take our LED bulb and we are going to make it light up. Excited. This is the best part. <laughs> We're gonna spread them a little bit. The leggies. We have the LED. We're gonna just make a little spread. It looks like that. Like We're gonna do this with. And we're gonna clamp one in. <gasps> oh my gosh, I get really nervous. So we're gonna finish the circuit by closing it with the copper or the zinc connecting to one end. These are slippery. Ready? Didn't work. That's okay though, because what we will do is we will just flip it around. If it doesn't work that way, just do that. And try again. <gasps> then it worked! <laughs> That's so cool. Yeah, cool. There it is. So you got blue? Yeah, I, I got blue. blue. And that's it. Fun. I know. And there's, like, it's not very bright, so it'd be super interesting to see what other things you could do to make a brighter bulb yeah. or to light up multiple bulbs. Mm -hmm. Maybe you could use more lemons. Mm -hmm. Maybe you could find something more acidic than lemons. Mm -hmm. Maybe you could find something more basic. But based on the properties that we understand about chemical batteries, the better something is of being an acid, the better it is at working in the battery. Got it. We want that oxidation. So just a quick little tiny tutorial on the fruit clock. This is an awesome toy. So you just open it up. You can use one of the lemons you use for your experiment. And you can see based on the similar properties of the experiment we just did with the lemon battery, that there's an anode and a cathode. And you're just gonna stick it in to your lemon. And voila, you have a working alarm clock. Simple as pie. Thanks so much for tuning in for another episode of Stumbox Tutorials. I think this went fantastic, what do you think? I loved it, and now I know how batteries work, which is cool, because I didn't before. Now we can make a car battery from one. <laughs> Just kidding, don't do that. All right, so check out our other videos. We have awesome interviews with women in STEM on our YouTube channel, other tutorials. Share your videos of you doing the experiment with us. We'd love to see what you do, how you make a better light bulb, how you make a different circuit, if you use a different fruit. The possibilities are endless. So stay tuned next month. We're gonna be doing aviation and aerodynamics. That is gonna be so much fun. I am gonna make the best paper airplane ever. I'm so excited. I bet mine can beat yours. We'll see. Okay. <laughs> All right, well, thanks again. I'm Kina. This is Caroline. Caroline. See you guys next see time. See you next time. Bye. Bye.